Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss how we can install the EG agent on Solaris operating system. Before we start the installation, we need to gather two basic required information. First, we need to know the EG manager IP or the host name and the port number for communication. I am going to use egontap.egenovations.com and the port number is 80 for this installation. We also have to make sure that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. So I will try to connect with the EG manager. Here I am going to use the command telnet to make sure that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. So telnet egontap.eginnovations.com and the port number is 80. And this shows that we are able to communicate with the EG manager. EG uses HTTP or HTTPS protocol for communication. Also, we have to make sure EG manager is using SSL for communication. The next one is proxy server information. As I mentioned earlier, EG uses HTTP or HTTPS for communication. In some infrastructure, proxy servers are used for communication. As shown in the below example picture, the server in the location A communicates with the EG manager directly. But in the location B, the server uses proxy for secured communication. In that case, we need the proxy server IP address and the port number for EG manager and agent communication. If the authentication is involved for the proxy, then we need the username and the password also. Since we have all the information ready, now let us start the EG agent installation. Here you can see I have the EG agent installation package. So I am going to transfer this file to the Solaris host. Here I am using FileZilla to transfer the file. Before you transfer, make sure the transfer type is in binary and then you can transfer the file. Now we have successfully transferred the installation package to the Solaris host. First we have to open the directory where we have the installation package. So I am going to temp. Here you can see I have the egagent.gc installation file for Solaris. I have to unzip the file. So I am using the command gunzip egagent.gc. So I am confirming using the command. And this shows that the eg agent package has been unzipped. Now I'm going to use the command package add for the installation. Since I'm going to continue with the default setup, I'm going to press enter. Here you have to provide the installation username for the eg agent installation. I'm going to leave it on eGurka, so I'm pressing enter. Here you can select the destination where you would like to install the EG agent. Since I am going to install on op directory, I am going to press enter. This is the option where you have to select the auto restart on the system boot up. Since I need auto restart, I am going to press enter. Yes, for the installation. In order to continue the setup, we have to switch to eg installed user that is eGurka. Now I am going to start the setup procedure. Now I have to move to the directory eGurka bin for the eg agent setup. Now we have to start the setup procedure. So I am going to give the command. Here we have to provide yes for the licensing time. Now we have to provide the eg manager host or the IP address. So in this case I am going to use eg ontap.eginnovations.com and the port number is 80. Here we are not using any proxy server for eg agent and manager communication so I am going to say no. Since there is no SSL involved for the communication, I am going to say no to that. Here you have to provide yes or no for the EG agent nickname. Agent nickname is an alternate identifier for EG agent. 
Normally, during communication, EG manager identify the EG agent with an IP address. In some environment where the dynamic IP system is prevalent, in such scenario, you can assign a unique nickname for the EG agent and so the EG manager will identify the EG agent with a nickname irrespective of the IP address. In this case, we have static IP system prevalent, so I am going to say no to the nicknames. Cold Fusion Server is an additional web adapter plugin for monitoring different applications. Since we are not going to use it, I am going to say no to that. Now the EG agent setup has been completed. I am going to start the agent. And this shows the EG agent have started successfully. This is where the EG agent installation procedure ends. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.